Hi guys, I'm Adrian, and today's film, Friday. Okay, listen, Friday is just the day before the weekend, but this Friday, the neighborhood, Craig, and young men like myself all around the world will never be the same. So I grew up watching this movie. It was always funny, and I was young enough to not care about the drug aspects of the film. Now that I'm 19, I was able to re-watch the film and really see what it's about. Friday is a film about growing up and becoming a man. Despite Friday's excellent comedic approach, I think it's very well written and has too much value to not be discussed. This film was made at a time where the internet wasn't prominent enough for us to sit behind our phones and controllers all day and night. It was made at a time where people connected with their neighbors. Although most of the encounters can be viewed as comically negative, they were more connected as people. With that being said, Craig and Smokey had nothing to do, so they sat on the porch all day. Nobody does that anymore. Everybody just sits on their phones all day, shut off from the world to live in another one. Just something to think about. Let's start with Ezel. Uh, Ezel is the common stereotype of a crackhead. He's quick, crafty, and has good work ethic. Unfortunately, it's all in service of buying and smoking some crack gotta love it uh we have felicia uh, another crack addict who asks craig for some of the craziest shit and at the worst times craig's girlfriend is an absolute trip she literally calls craig out on seeing another woman and she has a whole nother dude in her bed i think that about sums her up as for debbie just look at me alone she's just she's the girl next door i mean uh, there's yeah <laughs> the, then there's Debo he is the big buff neighborhood bully I mean we all if you're watching this video you know who Debo is uh we also have Big Worm the neighborhood drug dealer this man has zero issue picking up a gun and has no honor in how he handles his altercations now for Craig's parents Craig's parents are your typical loving urban parents they care for their children and are at the end of the main stages of parenthood Craig's father still works and provides for his family as a dog catcher. We see how enduring parenthood can be and Craig's father getting bit in the ass by a dog. Craig's mom is really funny too. Then there's Smokey's mom who I believe feels entitled to her children taking care of her. Now, there is something that Craig's father said that I really want to highlight. He says, you kids today are nothing but punks, sissified so quick to pick up a gun you scared to take an ass whipping now i hate the fact that this still holds so much truth today i don't like to get into any type of strong issues here so i'll just let that one sink in then he goes on you win some you lose some but you got to live you got to live to fight another day I love how this quote sticks with you until the end of the movie, then gets reiterated. I really think this quote is how I try to go about certain issues. I've won fights and I've got my ass handed to me, but I never got a gun. I used my fist and hope to hell it worked. Craig's father explains to us that it's not worth it. It's not worth dying over. His brother died and he decided to pick up a gun and he doesn't want the same for his son. I guess I can say this quote has stuck with me for some good years. Now for Smokey. Smokey is a young adult drowning in substance abuse at the expense of his own safety and unfortunately his loved ones as well. He's supposed to be selling Big Worm's weed when in fact he's been smoking it. So now when Big Worm asks for his money, Smokey has to come up with the rest or suffer the consequences. Now because Craig takes a puff of the bud, he's now involved in this whole situation. Through this entire movie and all the endeavors they go through, after breaking into a neighbor's house and soon after getting shot at, Smokey finally decides to stop selling, stop smoking, and go to rehab. Also want to say that here he also learns what consequences are. He learns what it means to do something and for something to come out of that, something bad, something good. You know, this is something we all have to learn as men, as women, as people in general. Now for Craig. Craig is more relatable to me now than Peter Parker. He has to work to live with his parents and pay rent. He goes in the fridge and realizes there's no food and he's new to dealing with the ever-changing bullshit that the day brings. 
even though Smokey dragged him into this mess, he still chooses to help his friend. The problem is he tries to help his friend by using a gun. There's no honor in using a gun, no fight, nothing to learn from. I think every man needs to get his ass kicked at least once in his life. It's a very humbling experience. Now, go watch Gangs of New York. Through deciding not to use the gun and fighting Debo with his hands, mostly, <clears throat> mostly, he doesn't die. He's able to learn and live on to tell the tale of Friday. He faces his fears and overcomes Debo. Craig is able to mature from the experience in learning something of what it means to be a man. He grows up a bit. Same when Smokey goes to rehab. They grow, they mature, and they take another step into adulthood. Friday was funny as hell and has some absolutely iconic jokes and lines. It is a film about young adulthood and maturity. This film is relatable to young men like myself, and if you haven't seen this movie, please go watch it. All three of them are currently on Netflix at the time of me uploading this video. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for your support. Check out the content. Check me out at Vic Mackey Sweet Butter on Instagram for early updates on the content. I also want to say I kind of went a little off script with this one at certain points. So it may be a little jumbled. But I think I got the point across to y'all. I mean, I really love Friday. This is definitely one of my favorite movies. Just, yeah, man. Y'all have a good one. Be safe. Love one another. You know what I mean? Go outside. Go play or something. You know? All right. Y'all have a good one.